Quick outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this like black dress. I'll show you guys in better lighting. I just gotta fix my hair, put it like in a bun, and then I'll be ready to go. So now we are in. Where are we? In Marathon. Yes, we're in Marathon. If you guys could see it. Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure if I did an intro yesterday, but if you're new, my name is Tatiana and it is now the next day. I came back from Key West last night. It was so fun. It was just like a quick day trip and it was just really nice to just get away with my family and we just kind of like explored Key West. I was supposed to go to Pilates this morning at 7.30 but I was so tired I could not wake up and I called them to see if I could like get the credit back and they're letting me get the credit back so I'm gonna try to go later on today like when I'm done working so we'll see. So everyone's talking about going to see like the Black Panther movie and I can't be like the only person who don't want to see it like I just feel like I'm gonna be so sad and everyone's like oh you want to go you want to go you want to go with me and I'm just like eh. like I don't want to go is it is it just me I just feel like I'm not ready yet like I feel like I need more time to still like process what happened with Chadwick Boseman so I don't know I'm just like I wonder if it's about him I guess that's why I should just go and look like is it even about him or there like is it kind of like the Fast and Furious ending where they had them like drive separately because they were able to film the whole movie it's like I don't even know what to expect so uh, it's just I don't know everyone's saying it's good so maybe I just need to just like go and give it and just go watch it but yeah I just been very like hesitant to see it I'm volunteering today and I'm at the church now but I don't have my cart because I went to Walmart and I bought like these really heavy cases of water and I forgot to bring my cart so I could like roll everything in so I'm like dang man like I don't feel like carrying these heavy cases of water and I got the 40 pack so y'all know they're like super heavy I'm about to go inside the church so I can start like helping but I will see you guys when I'm done hey y'all so I am at Ross now and I want to see if they have like any cute fall pieces and I need some like black shoes like I need black sandals I would love to get some like new types of black boots like kind of like the platform ones like I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about but yeah, so I'm looking for boots. I'm looking for leather pants. So let's go see what they have.
trying to find some books for the new year to read before the year ends, so I found this one. So, I'm trying to find the 12 week year. So, here are the books that I am looking at. At Pilates, it starts at 7 and it's 6.49. I'll probably go in in like 6 minutes. And y'all, I didn't buy nothing from Barnes & Noble. <laughs> when I tell you, um, my sister was like, Barnes & Noble price match. So I was like, okay, let me look at Amazon to see like the prices of like the books so I could show them so they'll price match it. Y'all, tell me why these books are literally like $10 cheaper than at Barnes & Noble. Like, it's literally a huge difference. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy them on Amazon. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later when I leave Pilates. Get my own lane. I am me till I'm in the grave. Trans said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down. Good morning y'all, so I'm about to start getting ready for work, but I wanted to show y'all I got some of my packages from Amazon, so I finally got the book, because I told y'all I didn't get it from Barnes & Noble, because it's literally like $12 on Amazon right now, so I got the 12 week year, I'm so excited to read this and try to get more done in 12 weeks than in 12 months so i'm excited i was already doing this concept without reading a book but i'm like you know what i need to read the book for myself because maybe that will help me really achieve my goals more because now i do find myself like okay how do i get to this point so i think this would really help me break my goals down better and it even breaks it down for you so i'm really excited to read this book i'm gonna start today and i'll give y'all an update and i got this new tripod so let's open it so here's the tripod so i got the one that everyone's always talking about on tiktok so i finally got it and my friend has it as well so i was like okay let me get this and it goes up to 60 inches so I'm super excited about that because I realize I want to get like more than one um like when I'm making my videos especially like reels for my business I'm like ugh, I need like this tripod as well to like help make content and not just like my camera or my tripod because my camera is Maybe it's my tripod, maybe it's not sturdy enough, but my camera is way too heavy to turn it sideways on that tripod. I am not risking it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'd rather just have this and I could just hold my phone. So I'm excited. So now I just need one of those lights and I feel like I'll have every gadget that I need in order to like really make really nice reels. So I have a whole list of reels I gotta make this week, so. <sighs> for my business so I'm like all right it's time to get to work so I'll see you guys when I get dressed and I'm heading to work I'm about to pack an order but I wanted to show you guys how I make my thank you cards because I've gotten asked before like how I make them. Canva and if you guys remember this is like the design that I'm using for my actual website. So once you make your design I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to just print it with your printer at home. And I like to print my own thank you cards because I like to customize them for what collection I'm doing. So when I was ordering it from Vistaprint I would have some left over and then I wouldn't want to like use them because now I'm on a new collection and it's kind of wasteful. And then I'm going to find my printer that I'm not find my printer. <laughs> And then I'm going to find the photo that I want to print. And 
I'm going to just say select, next. So it's just telling me how it's going to look. And it looks like it's a little too big, so I'm just going to kind of zoom out to try to get it to fit. And I think my mistake, so I did, um, I made it. 5x8 and it's a 4x6 so I like did the sizing wrong so let me go back into Canva and try to resize it again I just click those little squares and it's 4x6 so I'm gonna do 6 and then 4 here and now I just gotta kind of fix this really fast to make sure it looks just as nice in this size so I'm gonna just kind of so I need to move this picture over a little bit so I completely changed it, y'all. I printed it, and I just wasn't feeling it. So I did it over, and I changed this outfit to an orange one. And I realized I didn't zoom in enough, so there's, like, white at the top. So let's print this and see how this one looks. This is the final look, so now I am going to pack the order, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can easily make your own thank you cards at home, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just need like a really good, invest in like a really good printer, and you can get like results like these. And I pretty much make them for all my collections. If I could find some old ones, I'll show you guys in this video as well, but as you can see, it's super easy. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my boxes, but this is how they look. They just say she's a doll. So every person that orders, they get this box. And I really wanted to go for like the luxurious like experience. So my dog is in here with me. So if it is loud or if you hear a lot of noise, it's him. This is the size. I feel like this is a medium because of how large it is. If this is a small, okay, it's a medium. I was like, if this is a small, I'm gonna be shocked. But this is how it looks. It's like this really cute romper. You guys see me wear this in videos before. I'll enter a picture. And it already has like my tag on it. And I made these on this. Vista print? Yeah, I made these on Vista print. So I'm just gonna fold this and put it in the box. So here's how it looks. Fold it and I just have to add the tissue paper and make it like really pretty. So it is now later on the same day and I'm about to go to painting with the twist with my friends I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear So I really want to wear my new shirt that I just got from Ross with the fur Like I think this would be so cute with some jeans. It's actually kind of cool outside right now It's like I think it's like 72 but it kind of but it's windy so it feels like 68 and I think I want to put on my clip on ponytail to make it like more dramatic like my hair and I gotta put my contacts um, I need to shower first and I got a lot to do so let's get ready like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for cause when I look at you I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on Here's my outfit and how my hair came out I just went with the furry shirt These boot cut jeans And I just got to grab a bag And I just did my gold hoops To try to bring out my ponytail more But yeah, I think I did A good job to be Russian <laughs> So Yeah, I'm just trying to like I want like some, like I don't want it to be too neat, but still neat, like a messy bun. So I gotta play around with it a little more, but. 
Yeah, so this is how my hair came out. So you have to let me know what y'all think. I think it's cute and simple. I just need a purse. <laughs> this is too low, but I tried to open it a little bit to just make it a little more fun and casual and not too much, but I really like this. I need to go, so I'll see you guys when I'm in the car. So while we're driving, I have like a 30 minute ride, so I'm like, you know what, let me just catch you guys up on everything that's been happening this week. So if you're looking for like, you know, motivational books or books to read, like to motivate you, I highly recommend reading this book. It's so good. It just talks about like how to actually accomplish your goals, like your year goals in 12 weeks. And so instead of having like one year goals, you'll have four 12 week goals, but it's really life changing. Like I've learned so much and it's so much that I realized that I'm like doing wrong as like a business owner, as a career goal person. So it's just so much I realized that I'm like leaving on the table and so much I'm not accomplishing because I just don't plan correctly. Like when you guys see this video, it's going to be like, I think, six weeks left or like seven to six weeks left of the year but I started doing like an eight week goals plan like for the end of the year of goals that I want to accomplish by the end of this year I basically just went through all the goals that I haven't accomplished yet and I'm like okay what is an absolute must that I accomplish sorry y'all I ran out of memory so I had to delete some things but basically what I was saying is that I made, I went through all the goals that I am trying to, that I want to accomplish by this year and then I made kind of like a vision board and then I broke each vision into weeks and everything I need to accomplish in that week just to make sure that I'm like able to achieve these goals by the end of the year. And also too, I broke, so each day I wake up, I look at what I need to accomplish for that week and then that's how I make like my daily tasks like okay. Like for example, like one of my goals is to get closer to God. So I need, in order for me to do that, I broke down steps. I'm like, okay, I need to read my devotionals and do like write in my gratitude journal and um, read the Bible every single day and pray twice a day. So that's like part of my goal. So for like my daily goal, I will say, okay, pray read devotional, um, write in gratitude journal. So that's like an example of how I like break it down. Um, another, another goal that I'm working on, as you guys know, I'm doing like the UX course, like the UX Google course. So I break that down by saying, okay, I need to do 30 minutes a day on my course and each week I need to make sure I complete a week in order for me to make sure I, at the end of this year, I will have completed my course. So I hope that's like more, gives you guys a little bit understanding of what I'm saying. Um, I definitely want to do like a separate video so I can go more into detail and talk about it. But I highly recommend this book. If you guys are looking for like a way to accomplish your goals or if you feel like you're not able to accomplish your goals or you're falling short or you find yourself at the end of the year you did nothing that you wanted to do, I highly recommend just giving this a try and breaking your goals down into like small daily tasks. And this is honestly one of the first motivational books that I've read that actually tells you how to accomplish goals. Because, you know, sometimes they just so you false dreams. They're like, wake up early, you know, read books, do this, do that. You know, they motivate you, but they never tell you how to actually accomplish your goals. Where this book literally forces you to make like a real plan for your, you know, your 12 weeks. So I highly, 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 I can't say this enough. I highly recommend this book. The book has been like really good. And I actually um, started my eight weeks earlier because... I saw like a YouTube video which I will link the video that I saw um, of the girl who's mentioning the 12 weeks so I basically started my eight week plan before I read the book but now reading the book I have more understanding so I know when I actually do it 
like for real for real in january and do a full 12 week i know that i'll really be able to accomplish the goals and i'm saying all this to say is that you know if there's any goals that you guys haven't accomplished that you want to accomplish by the end of the year there's still time like just put together a game plan just think of what you want to do in order to accomplish those goals like maybe your goal is to start a business so you need to break into what you need to do each week and then break into daily tasks like okay today i need to research the LLC for my state or I need to research is the LLC right for me maybe I need a corporation you know so I highly highly y'all like it's not too late to accomplish your goals whether you want to lose weight um, get in shape you know get a six-pack like it's not too late to work towards those goals so you know, I just wanted to come on here and motivate you guys. I just feel so excited to just work on my goals and to like get things done for the end of the year. And I'm excited to just look back and see what I accomplished. Um, I know like I fall short so like so much with my goals because you know just my my procrastination is real. It's so bad, and I do find myself when I like plan my day like into actual like um, like time blocks I do find myself getting more things done so I do want to start doing that regularly like every night before my day like put my day into time blocks to make sure I'm able to stay consistent because my problem is just being consistent and keeping my you know my momentum and I'm the type of person where if I don't see myself like gaining progress like it makes me feel like it's not working so that's why I think the 12 week year will force me to like accomplish smaller goals so that way I will reach the end of the my end of year goals because I'm seeing progress with my smaller level goals if that makes sense so yeah I just wanted to say that I'm done ranting I will see you guys when I get to painting with the twist So much shit got to play. I blocked it. Left it in the car. I really should go get it. I don't know if it's charged. It's going to be for the end. Oh, my God. supposed to be drawing each other. So that's supposed to be me, y'all. And this is Leah. Oh, that's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. This one because it's like... I like this one because like you didn't really even try. <laughs> Who did this one? Who did this one? Oh, y'all want to own up to it? Yeah, who did that one? Who did that? Who did that one? So, this is our top three. So, will these three artists follow me outside the door so you go ahead and claim a prize? Yo, I won. Oh, my God. So, our brush is nice and clean, nice and dry. Before we dip that, it says we're black again. I was working on my other clothes. <laughs> Alright, your defense is just like I was just like, hurry up and catch up. <laughs> your defense, it looks just like me. <laughs> I know, see, he didn't tell that guy that. He was like, ooh, looks more. He was just like... <laughs> this looks so good. <laughs> Saturday and I'm about to go to Publix because today my church 
um, they're feeding, they're doing a Thanksgiving dinner for the homeless and for like the community. And I'm supposed to be making string beans, so now I gotta go to Publix. It's 7.56, so let's go. <laughs> Here's all the food that we made. So we have like turkey wings and chicken. Um, as y'all can see, we were running out. Shane beans, my shane beans. Yeah. Hey y'all, so it is now the next day. So, good morning. I just literally woke up and I did, I worked on my video that I want to come out today. Now I'm about to do my makeup so I can go to church. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one bye